up guys it's looney here back at again with a brand new video so for today's video i wanted to share with you guys these both good full coverage foundation reviews compared side by side i'm gonna apply half of the foundation on my face the foundation that i'm going to be reviewing for you guys is the huda beauty foundation right here This is a good full coverage foundation and I am in the color Cheesecake 250G and then I'll be also testing out the Il Maquillage full coverage foundation. This is more like a medium to full coverage foundation but to me it looks very full coverage. I'm in the shade 075 woke up like this. Both of these foundations are my holy grail when it comes to going out um, and making sure my foundation stays put throughout the whole day. Both of these are my two favorites. Um, also, this video is not sponsored by them or anything like that. For the left side, I'm going to use the El Maquillage. I'm going to give you guys a little rundown of what the foundation has. I didn't really go into the store and find my shade. I actually went online and took their quiz to find my perfect match. So basically you just take the quiz to find your match, answer a few quick questions about it, try before you buy, and then love it or return it. I took the quiz, I received it in the mail a couple days after I wore it, I was like, I'm in love with this foundation already. It makes my it makes my skin looks very smooth, very elegant. The Il Maquillage Foundation retails for forty four dollars. They have about fifty shades. It's very lightweight texture, buildable medium to high coverage, a natural matte finish, enriched with vitamin E for anti aging benefits, and a hundred percent cruelty free. Now it's time for the Huda Beauty Foundation review. This retails for $40. It has 30 shades of different colors. Um, it hides blemishes, concealing, imperfections. This foundation is for oily skin because it is a very matte finish. Um, on me, I have very dry skin, but the primer that I use, it makes everything balanced out, so which is good for me. I'm going to test out the foundation side by side which I would be doing right now and I'll be right back. A little bit goes a long way. So of course, since they're very, very full coverage, you would probably need about maybe three pumps the least, maybe four. Okay guys, <laughs> so before you guys start judging, I know that the Hooded Beauty is way light because I'm gonna tell you that this is my winter shade. Of course, you can see a very huge difference comparison right now. Um, don't forget that this side is Huda Beauty and this side is the Il Maquillage. So I'm going to turn down the brightness a little bit on my camera so you guys can actually see the comparison um, around my nose, the pores, and under my eyes. The Maquillage, it didn't really cover up much of my dark circles underneath, but the Huda Beauty did really cover up very well i don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera or not but i definitely see like a very big crease underneath my nose and as well under here um on the il maquillage side it looks pretty good i don't see any fine lines i don't see creases around my nose um that's a major issue for me because i hate creases underneath my nose or on my smile lines or anything like that so i will check in back with you guys in a couple hours and see how the foundation wears off or how the foundation is going to do so i will be right back started the comparison around three o'clock in the afternoon and it is currently 4 24 i already see a very major shift in difference between the two foundations I see very much of fine lines in my nose and also in my smile lines, but it's not looking cute, boo-boo. Huda Beauty creases a lot, especially underneath my under eyes if I don't set it. The Il Maquillage is looking good. She's looking natural. I don't see any 
much fine lines on this side. I don't know if you can tell. You see the dry patches on this side, and then a little bit of dry patches on this side too as well. But um, don't mind my lips. I was just experimenting. I'm going to check back within a couple of hours. I'm going to start doing some errands, and then I will be right back. Alright y'all, so I did the things that I had to do and the last clip that I saw you guys um, was around 4.30ish and it's currently 7.56, about to be 8 o'clock. I did what I had to do. I'm very exhausted and very tired. I think I'm going to head on and shower after this and then just relax and go to sleep. But before I do that, I'm going to sh tell you guys what is my last verdict on these two foundations. The color payoff is pretty well put on and stayed on. You can tell that the Huda Beauty is still the same color and then the Il Maquillage as well. To be honest, I feel very more sticky and tacky on the Huda Beauty side rather than the Il Maquillage. Overall, I think these two foundations are very good. Like I said, personally to me, but I am rooting for the Il Maquillage. Huda Beauty, um, to me, is just, I don't know, I see a lot of creases, but if you don't mind baking and putting powder on, then you're good. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I will see you guys soon in the next video.